On this very cold winter day, I'm starting my morning off with some homemade sourdough sandwich bread. I whipped it up the night before, let it rise, and it didn't bubble over this time because it is so cold on the kitchen counter with the temps being in negative 40 with wind chill. But the bread is coming out of the oven, the eggs are on the pan, my husband has made my coffee for the day, and it is a wonderful day to get cozy for the winter. So I'm trying to truly embrace all that this season has for me and rest in being inside with how cold it's been lately and all the snow we've gotten with just doing things all warm and cozy and um, relaxing for me. So I also used a whole chicken for our supper the other night and I made some bone broth and now I am just putting that in my mason jars to have a stock in our fridge for all the soups that I will ma be making this coming week. After getting my little boy dressed for the morning and getting him up for the day, it's time to do some schooling after our routine had been done for the breakfast and breakfast dishes and getting ourselves dressed. So I just think it's so important to keep a routine for our littles. And so we're just doing a little bit of preschool, the other ones maybe coloring, doing some other things while we're just at our coffee table. And then I am going to be dehydrating some pears I got from Azure Standard. These are the best pears I've gotten them from them so far. And with my husband and I doing no sugar right now, it's nice to have this as a snack. He likes gummies. And so the pears dehydrated are still a little bit chewier. And so he is enjoying those as a snack. And so am I, and of course, so are my kiddos. But I just slice them thinly. I put them in a little bit of lemon water so they don't brown so easily. And then I spread them on my trays to go in the dehydrator. And I did them at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 hours. So they won't be long-term storage, but we would eat through all of these anyways within the next two to three weeks. So then I put those on the tray and got my girls to help me with a dehydrator to put them in and they will be ready for a delicious treat in the evening because it took all day. <laughs> particular day we are using up leftovers for lunch so I like using these Pyrex storage containers because I can just throw them right in the oven and pull them out and our food is ready I have been using the oven probably for a good six months now to reheat our food just a lot less use in the microwave um, the food seems to taste better it's a lot more fresh tasting and so I just like that bonus of having fresher, um, no food zapped tasting food. And when I'm home with my children all day, I think that is a benefit too, because I can put it in 20 minutes before the meal and pull it out. And then just folding up all my cloth napkins. There's always laundry to do, and today was a washing of all of our cloth napkins. I like using these instead of paper towels or even napkins, and it's so easy because I'm doing laundry every day anyways, so why not use cloth and just wash them up? Yes, they do have stains all over them because I have little kids, but I think I like that over being wasteful and throwing a lot of paper towels away each and every meal. Now it's time to prep for our supper and I have a little pantry, food pantry in our basement and I brought in our potatoes. I covered them in some dirt this time and uh, that seems to be storing them pretty well. So 
picking out some potatoes to have for our creamy corn potato chowder um, with chicken. It's kind of a recipe I made up, but yet one I have followed in the past. I've used ham with it before, I've used chicken, but it is such a delicious soup. And it's a great way to use all the garden produce and um, just a very healthy, nutritious, kind of heavy meal. Mm -hmm. I do have to say I've been embracing the soups this season too because it uses such good um, garden produce and it's just, it's so nice to just throw everything in one pot, let it simmer for a couple hours and enjoy it for the evening meal or even a lunch meal. Like I said, I am using that bone broth for soups and stews throughout the week. Now it's time to continue decorating for winter after I had taken my Christmas decor down. I left it pretty sparse after I took all my Christmas items and decorations down. And so I'm just adding a few other simple touches, just making it cozy for what I enjoy for my space. Still pretty neutral, but just using some of my wood bead garland that actually had been on my Christmas tree. So everything I decorate with, I really don't repurchase items. A lot of the decor was stuff I used for winter last year, um, items I used in different seasons. I'm drawn to those vintage books, the Crocs, um, vintage plates, and the eucalyptus stems, faux stems, candles, candle holders, things of that nature. And those are such multi-faceted pieces that are great for many different seasons. And it really just says cozy to me. So on this particular day, it was bedding day for washing and I decided to wash my duvet as well. So I just think it's important to wash laundry often for our sheets, but my duvet cover I don't do as often because it is a little bit of work to put it back on. So I'm taking the time to do the rolling method to put it back together. I don't know. There's a whole um, thing about this roll that you can do to make it work and I did make it work pretty well other than I did it upside down but I really just made my duvet pop it was so much whiter and cleaner and I just you know it cozied up my bedroom space much better and then got it all straightened out as well as put my pillows back on and made it just nice for the rest of the day <music> So obviously I've folded quite a bit of laundry today and done some of that, but that's just how some days are as homemaking. Some days are more heavy on laundry, some days are more heavy on being in the kitchen or other days on cleaning. Today in particular was more laundry and I am folding my son's cloth diapers because we used them for all three of our children. And if you're looking at the cost effectiveness, I would say it's probably um, pretty, decent. We've never actually waited out to see how much more effective it would be to do disposable throughout all of our kids versus cloth. But like I said, these have gotten us through with three children. I don't do cloth at nighttime or when we travel, but when I'm home and I do laundry almost daily, I feel like it's worth it for me 
with these three, the three kids we had so far to do cloth. On an extremely cold winter day, I had to make my latte. I'm sorry friends, I do this every day and you see it every day, but I'm just getting my puck ready to dispense the espresso and I do a single shot in the afternoon. Sometimes I'll do a matcha latte, but I just love this little coziness in my day. It really just helps me through the winter as well. And I talked about that a little bit in my last video on um, doing winter right. Just kind of treating yourself. And this for me is a treat. Kind of, It's more of a cappuccino this time too with how frothy the milk was. But it is just a blustery, cold, sunny day out. And that coffee was just the right thing doing a little bit of cleaning and the bonus of living in a small house I can wipe my hallway down in two minutes so I do a lot of hands and knees wiping with a rag and my multi-purpose natural cleaner of water vinegar and essential oils and I just you know I feel good about getting my hands and knees and wiping I feel like I can scrub a little bit better and when my space is so small like I said it really doesn't take much time The evening hours have arrived and it's time to continue supper as I sip on my latte and enjoy a little moment with my baby boy. So I'm continuing with the soup, adding the creaminess of the milk, sour cream, some raw cheddar cheese that we also get from Azure, and just enjoying the candlelight as I make this cozy warm soup. There's some days where I like making things beautiful for a table, like putting the cheese and crackers on a nice cutting board. Other days, I will just put them out in the bags that we bought them in. But today was kind of a let's be a little fancier type of evening. And then just girls wanted to see what I was making and they help in the kitchen. They set the table for me. They will put things away in the fridge when I'm done. But there is the soup, all steamy, set on the table, ready for us to enjoy. I can't go an evening without a little bit of tea, and my favorite is the organic Good Earth Sweet and Spicy, and then picking one out for my husband, and don't you love both our little mugs? So just a cozy day in the winter, in the cold January months that I brought you along for. And as I take out the pear chips, the dehydrated pears, I hope you enjoyed this vlog type video and that you are staying cozy and warm and enjoying the winter to the best of your ability.